Treasurer Jim Chalmers is being encouraged by the International Monetary Fund to wind back capital gains tax breaks for the family home and to broaden the GST. Let's get the latest here from Olivia Caisley in Canberra. Homeowners are certainly not going to like this idea, Olivia, but uh, the, IF, the IMF's annual review of Australia has given the government some recommendations ahead of the budget. They certainly have. So uh, they've made a slew of recommendations and they uh, say to help the Reserve Bank to reduce inflation, they're encouraging the government to show restraint in the upcoming May budget and funnel the profits the government has made from uh, this uh, windfall commodity boom into fixing the budget deficit. But interestingly, they're also recommending the winding back of capital gains tax concessions on the family home. They say that this tax exemption uh, disproportionately benefits the wealthy uh, and it should be made to be less generous, not only to generate more tax revenue for the government, but to make the tax system more fair. If we remember, uh, the Albanese government scrapped a 2019 Labor policy uh, to essentially wind back capital tax uh, breaks for investment properties and also shares. So it'll be interesting to see what this particular uh, recommendation, how it flies with the government today. The IMF also says that the government should uh, consider introducing co-payments or means testing to make the NDIS more financial sustainable. So if we cast our minds back to the last budget in October, the NDIS was one of the four biggest areas of spending. On the plus side, though, the IMF uh, does uh, think that Australia will narrowly avoid recession, but with the price of petrol, groceries and energy bills uh, going up substantially, there is growing pressure on the government to try and deliver more relief to those doing it tough, Pete. Okay. Olivia Casley out of Canberra. Thank you.